The first step is to go to canva.com and click on sign up. Click sign up with email, sign up with Google, or sign up with Facebook to create a new account by entering your name, email, and a password. Or, click log in if you already have an account. Once you have created an account or signed in, with your mouse, hover over templates. Click infographic. Click business. Select an infographic from the options and click on it. Ideally, you'll select an infographic that has designated spaces for five strategies. At this point, skip to step 27 to share your template with others for editing if working as a team. Click use this template. Scroll undefined and double click on title box, in this example, the becoming great entrepreneurs. Highlight the becoming great entrepreneurs and delete the text and replace it with strategies for dealing with and preventing customer service breakdowns. With your mouse, select text in highlight to resize it to fit. Click the highlighted drop-down box to resize the text. Scroll down and click a number to adjust the text size up or down. For this example, 42 was chosen to make the text smaller. You may have to reselect the text and resize multiple times to fit. Double click top traits of the greats. Your selected template may not have this area. If not, then you will need to modify the area at the very bottom to add your name as creator. Type top traits of the greats, highlight the text and delete it to replace with your name as author of infographic. You can also use the space at the bottom of the infographic for your name. Double click the box which includes heart dominant people, highlight the text and delete it and replace with your first strategy. Double click highlighted area. Highlight the text and delete and replace with your descriptive text to support the above strategy. Be careful not to get too wordy here. Use your words carefully and concisely for maximum benefit. Double click on the hard on hand icon, and then delete it. Click highlighted area called elements or photos. Click search icons and shapes for an image or icon that supports and is related to your strategy. This is important. It must relate to the strategy to be effective. If your strategy is to wave, then find an icon or photo image of someone waving. Scroll down and click on the icon or image that supports your strategy. With your mouse, click and drag on your selected icon or image then drop it on your infographic where you would like it to appear. If you aren't happy with the location, double-click on the icon or image and drag it to the correct spot. With your mouse, click and drag the selected image, then drop it in the desired location. Move the image and resize if necessary by clicking on one of the corners and drag it to the correct size. Moving and resizing may take multiple attempts. Repeat steps 16 to 24 for your next four strategies. Remember, you need a total of five. If you selected a template that only has room for four strategies like the one used for this tutorial, then you will have to add another area for the fifth strategy. Review the assignment rubric carefully and make sure you have adequately addressed all the requirements before proceeding and sharing your infographic with your professor for grading. This includes a reference page and citations.
When you have finished your infographic to your satisfaction, click share to get a link that you can send to your professor and or teammates for editing. Click copy link. Next to share a link to edit then paste the link into the infographic assignment area in Canvas where indicated and submit the assignment to your professor. Or, you can post the link to share with your teammates. Once you have submitted a link to the infographic you created to your professor, that's it. You're done. Please don't hesitate to reach out to Dr. Coram with any questions.